mind. Oh, I. Bueno, aquí estamos en otro parque. Aquí estamos en Chattanooga, Tennessee. Estamos en, se llama Raccoon Mount, en Cavern. So, ya compramos los tickets. Ahora a las seis. Tenemos el tour para la cueva. Hace muchos, muchos años, pero muchos años, que no entro a una cueva. Una cueva grande, o sea, una cueva que... So, aquí vemos, tengan para que tengan una idea del parque. Ese es el parque. Está bien grande. Se ve chiquito desde, por Google Maps. Se ve chiquito, pero está bien grande. Ahora vamos a esperar, vamos a esperar ahora para las 6. Está bien bonito, así que sigan mirando el video. Espero que les guste, que hay mucho que ver. Bien, aquí tenemos un amigo que se nos ha pegado aquí, nos se nos ha pegado aquí en el... Cayéndonos atrás para todos lados. Se cayó, se cayó. Esto es un como un elevador. No. Sí. Quiero probarla. ¿Eh? Yo también quiero probarla. ¿Qué quieres probarlo? Ajá. Pues eso no se mueve de ahí. Ahí eso se mueve de ahí. Sí. Tiene un hueco muy grande. No le quiero cerrar la puerta porque el día tiene cerrado la puerta y se compra. Ven, ven para acá, ven. Hang 
I'm not seeing any right now, but there might be one coming out on the way back. They always come and go. They are animals, after all. Mm-hmm. Built entrance into the cave, this wall over here. Would have been a 30-foot belly probably get in here. Obviously now it's been blown out. So, yeah, we should be go tomorrow at the Ruby before. Yeah, so yeah, glad you came here first. We're a little bit more natural, so it would be a oh, good okay. comparison. Yeah. So they're more of a commercialized cave, but it's still a cool experience. Although I haven't really been seeing too many out here lately, but they're being cooler at night. No, I didn't see any. We're going to be heading up this way. Eventually they form in the middle and make a column, like these on the far side of the room. Oh, yeah. And right over to you guys is right is one of our biggest columns in the cave. So this one has been dated to about 500,000 years old. Oh wow. So on average our growth in this cave is about one cubic inch for every hundred years. So it takes quite a long time for anything to grow in here. But, and the last formation that often gets overlooked is flowstone. The flowstone is just water running out of surface, redepositing minerals within sheets. Mounds of it along the right side of the walkway. So it's just really all throughout the babies hanging out. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they hatched last week. They'll be there for a little bit longer until they're fully formed and then they'll start moving out on their own. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Could you imagine going through something that tall? Hmm. Really tight, and that's about five feet wide, not 13 inches wide. So, that's a lot bigger of a hole than it is over there. Tradition over in Europe is to have wishing wells in caves. Mm -hmm. The Smiths were of European descent, so they wanted to continue that tradition over here. However, pennies are not the best for the caves. Coming back here, it's a pretty good environment for them. Lots of little nooks and crannies to hide in, some water. There's normally some flies in here as well, flying around. See that? See any? There hasn't really been any today, which has been odd. Yeah, I'm not seeing any flying around right now. But I have something else cool to show you if you take a few steps towards me. Up here on the ceiling, you see these little brown hairs? Mm hmm. So, any guess you know what that is? There's a root. Exactly. The very bottom roots of a tree. So, we're only about 25 feet underground here, so not really too far underground, even though it might feel like we're really far underground. Salamanders hanging out there right now. 
Now this is not a type of formation, this is cave coral or cave popcorn. It's not too pleasant to crawl over, you get a good chance of ripping your clothing, maybe a couple scratches. That's made with the water when spark, right? So not necessarily splattering, but more of evaporation. So the water's evaporating quickly here, so during that process it pulls the mineral up with it. That's why it's evaporating so quickly right here. And I don't see any sound meters hanging out. But directly behind you guys is our oldest stalagmite from the cave. That's our Merlin formation. And this guy right here that's done up as a Christmas tree. So it's a little bit bigger than that column that we saw earlier. So we're roughly estimating about six to 700,000 years old on that one. Aww. Coming around the corner, we're heading up to our one ahead rock. So we got the beard, the nose, and the eye of the iguana. <laughs> Been pretty sneaky on me today though. Oh, we got one right there. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Baby. Little salamander hanging out in that crack right there, you see him? Oh, yeah. Oh, little yeah. cave salamander. Yeah, you see it there? Yeah. He's two over there. Yeah, he's another one at the top. You yeah. see it? Yeah, we probably have a big one right here hanging out. Or at least there was oh, no. earlier. Yep, right there. Boom. Oh, yeah. A little babyish one next to it. Some more babies up there. Mm hmm. This one there. Yep. Yeah. So, big enough to allow these crickets to come in now, and then the salamanders come here to get a little bit. So, this is our reflection pool. This water is very reflective, as you guys can see. So, this water is high in an element called manganese. So, manganese is used in stainless steel and aluminum production to make mm -hmm. that metal a little bit shinier. That's what's making this water really reflective. And on it, you're going to see that it's actually pretty brickly. Oh, yeah. So, it's just really reflective, deceptive. So coming around the corner, we got some fossils up here on the ceiling. So these are our crinoid fossils. So if you can imagine a living sea lily, it looks like a plant, but it is a, a creature. What we're seeing is the stem portion of the creature. Mm -hmm. That's the most common fossil that you get of the crinoid. It's pretty rare to get one of the actual head. We have one, or we actually have two of them in our cave that we have that I know of. So it's pretty special, but both of those are on the wild cave tours. Seven hour trip all the way 